Hello my dear student of Hamini you all are welcome back to our channel today we are diving into a topic that near and dear to many of us caffeine but before we do make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all our latest food science content now let's talk caffeine we all know it as the magical substance found in coffee tea energy drinks and even some snacks but is it addictive and what does food science have to say about it let's find out first thing first what exactly is caffeine chemically speaking it's a naturally stimulant belonging to a class of compounds called methyl xanthines it works by blocking the actions of a neurotransmitter called adenosine which promotes relaxation and sleepiness in the brain instead caffeine increases alertness and temporarily wards of drowsiness but here's where things get interesting while caffeine is not technically addictive in the same way as drugs like nicotine or cocaine it can lead to dependence how so well let's break it down When you consume caffeine regularly, your body starts to adapt. Over time, it becomes less sensitive to the effects of caffeine, meaning you need more of it to achieve the same level of alertness. This phenomenon is known as tolerance. As you can see from this graph, as caffeine intake increases, so does tolerance. But that's not all. When you suddenly cut back on caffeine, you might experience withdrawal symptoms like headache, fatigue, and irritability. These symptoms typically peak within a day or two and can last for up to a week. Now let's talk about the role of food science in all of this. Food scientists study caffeine's effect on the body as well as its interactions with other compounds found in food and beverages. For example, did you know that the way coffee beans are roasted can affect the caffeine levels? Lighter roasts tend to have more caffeine than darker roasts. As the longer roasting process breaks down some of the caffeine molecules, Food scientists also analyze caffeine content in various products, helping consumers make informed choices about their caffeine intake. For instance, a typical cup of coffee contains around 95 mg of caffeine, while a can of soda might have anywhere from 20 to 50 mg. So, to wrap things up, while caffeine is not technically addictive, it can lead to dependence and withdrawal symptoms while regular consumption. Food scientists play a crucial role in understanding caffeine's effect on the body and its presence in our favorite foods and beverages. So thanks for joining me on this caffeinated journey through food science. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your fellow food science. Until next time stay curious and keep exploring the delicious world of food science.